breakfast today. Um, I've been asked for by a lot of people to just make a little video about the EU events. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to focus on the UK and Germany because those two are just the biggest markets. To start off, um, I'd like to introduce you this to Avalara, which is actually an Amazon company, as you may be guessed by the orange. So they um, do all the VAT returns for your red registration in any country everywhere. Um, so it's a good way to start your research, what you actually have to do before you click the sell global button. Um, they have you all the information, what you need, what you have to do for any country. So it doesn't matter if you want to start selling in Canada or India, Australia, Japan, Singapore, or like I said, in the EU, then um, you just click on their page and read through it. If you contact them via phone, they're not very helpful, um, I must say, but once you're signed up with them, it's pretty good. And uh, I believe Amazon, you, you still offer a service that they do your tax returns for free for one year. So if you don't have anybody, it's definitely a starting point. If you already have an accountant and they're, you're happy with them, please use them. Other companies you can use are SimplyVet or um, Taxedo. They're both pretty good as well. So they integrate with your Amazon and get all the data and then file your VAT for you. Obviously, the more countries you're going to start selling in, the more expensive it gets because you need to register in all countries where you're going to store goods. So let's start um, this page. So here it just tells you what you kind of need to know when you calculate your sell prices because all the sell prices that you see on Amazon in the EU are including VAT, which is different to the sales tax in the US where the sales price comes, uh, sales tax comes on top while you're like paying. And Amazon collects the sales tax too and like hands it over to the government where in Europe, Amazon doesn't do that. Maybe it will change. Maybe not, we don't know. Um, but you kind of collecting the VAT on behalf of the government and have to then hand it over every month or like in the UK uh, quarterly. So in Germany, that's 19% standard and in, in the UK, that's 20%. There are reduced um, far, um, VAT amounts as well, like in Germany for food, for example, it's just 7%. But um, just read into that. I'm not going to go deep, uh, too deep into that because obviously I'm, I'm not an accountant. So this is no accounting advice, no tax advice. Just want to show you where to get your information from. So um, if we just go on this page, just that's in the UK and you see the pound amount here. That is including that. So there will be 20% that will be included in this price. And um, that these 20% you have to take away from any of your revenue quarterly and hand it over to the government. Very important. If you are not in the EU, then you must register for that if you want to sell in the UK. There is no um, like exemption anymore, like there was till like a couple of months ago, actually. So you must register if you store your goods there or not. If you are in the EU, then you have a distance selling um, threshold for um, £70,000. If you are below that, you don't need to register if you don't store goods in the UK. So if you fulfill your goods from Germany, for example, um, everybody else must register, which is really, really easy. You just simply, you can just Google that registration in the UK, and then you register and generally you get your number within four, four to five, six days. Sometimes it takes a bit longer than a week, especially now since there's less people working there. But generally it goes really, really quick. You don't need to um, start a company in, um, in, in the UK. You can use your current credentials, which you have. Like if let's say that is a Mexican company, company, then you can use that company. Or if you're a sole trader from Australia, then you can just use those details as well. I do recommend to um, provide an international account, like OFX or TransferWise, in case you get um, some of that back. So they don't send you a check, which is often just it's very expensive to um, cash your um, check in, in your local bank. If you want to import into the UK, you also need an EORI number, which is also fairly easy. It's just the same process, just apply, fill in, it's just one page. Um, get it sent via email to you and that's the number you have to provide when you're importing. For Germany that's all a bit more complicated. Um, the only good thing is in Germany if you just providing goods via FBM, let's say you are, I'm just using India as an example because it's very far away, um, 
If you are in India and you want to provide your goods via FBM, you don't store goods in Germany and you're selling below 100,000 a year, then you don't need to register for a VAT in Germany. Then you just simply, when you apply for your account, it goes instantly unsuspended because you haven't provided your tax information. It will be an email or a link which says uh, what to do if you don't have to uh, have VAT obligations in Germany. And you have to fill in this declaration, which I can't show you now because I obviously like uh, did my bet. And we're just pretty much like you have just a sign that you don't store any goods and that you are below a hundred thousand. As soon as that changes, you have to get a bet ID. You will also need an EORI number at the moment because um, Brexit is not finished. Um, you can still also use your UK EORI number, but if you by the end of the year, it may change, so you will need one for the rest of Europe. Fairly easy, same comes within a day or two via email, and that's the one you need to provide to your freight forwarder or to your customs broker if you want to import goods. If you need, if you want to use FBM in Germany, which makes total sense, um, because just the um, shipping costs from anywhere in the world to Germany is quite expensive. You uh, need to actually upload this. They only ask you for this form, but you can only get that form if you already have a tax ID. So you will need to find out who is responsible for you, which country, where are you from, and then you have to contact that in that different tax offices. And um, most of us, like me, I'm now in Australia, so I use that one in Berlin, uh, or for the US, you use Bonn, and you send this massive six-page questionnaire in German filled in to them. Like I said, Alava or other companies can help you do that, but you can do this yourself. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. So if you know somebody who speaks German who can help you, you could get them to just help you. Simply fill it in. Fairly easy. And it needs quite some attachments as well. So for example, you need to actually send them off for a a contract of you and Amazon so you kind of like need to make a copy or uh, like a screenshot of your Amazon seller account that you're actually paying monthly you need to uh, that's what I did I just posted all the addresses of all the warehouses in Germany because they want to like see where you're storing your goods and obviously you can't do that because you don't know where they are so I just posted that and you need to and it's probably the most most um, important part you need a an address or a personal contact in Germany who uh, they can contact in case there's anything goes wrong. So I would not recommend using a friend because it may be not your friend anymore if anything goes wrong. Um, there's a lot of services that offer that. If you use a service like Alavara or KPMG, any other big tax company, then you will give them the power of attorney and also the power to receive your post. And um, then that's, that's done as well. And uh, once you've done everything and you got your VAT ID and you actually register for the invoice service as well, which is really good, then um, you can see in your tax document library every month, I, I pull this down every month, um, get your VAT calculations. If you have a service that does that, you can integrate them with Amazon and they will pull all the data for you and file the VAT for you. But if you do this yourself, which you can if you just start out and if you have like some keeping background then you just uh, download your vet account your vet um, calculations monthly and just like reduce this here a little bit but you can see that's the sale price that's the vet and that's the money you can work with in that all your good, uh, um, cost of goods your advertising and stuff that's pretty much has to come out of this bit because this you just collected on behalf of the government so you could pretty much just sum this up and um, put it in your bet return <clears throat> and I um, just want to show you a quick example like let's say in the UK your price that you displaying here maybe I should actually use the 1841 so that makes a bit more sense 1841 yeah, so then you see the VAT on that is three dollar at uh, three pounds seven, and the price excluding as is fifteen thirty four. So that is that's the that's the VAT you have 
you're collecting on behalf of the government and every three months you make your vet return in the UK. It's monthly in, in Germany. And um, just tell them that's how much I sold. That's the vet I collected. So that's what you're getting from me. So if you would just sell one item, you would have to pay £3.7. If you didn't sell anything, you don't. And if you're importing, you also pay vet on you pay import vet and then you can just like calculate it against what you collected and what you already paid so let's say you imported one item for this amount and you pay three dollar at three pound seven um, import vet and you also only sold one item and you collected three point seven then you put that both in your vet return and your vet return will make zero hope that makes sense so um once you've done this the first time it makes more sense when you do it yourself, but it's really, really not such a big thing. Thing you, it's just you need to just register, follow the instructions, look if you want to like fill in your tax vet return yourself, or if you want to use a company. If you are going to sell anywhere else in Europe, it's the same rules like in in UK and in Germany. Once you store goods there, you will have to register for vet. So I cannot recommend to go straight away for the pan European fulfillment which means amazon will like distribute all your goods into all the countries and fulfill directly within that country you can um, simply just use the european fulfillment network choose one country let's say the uk or germany um, store all your goods in that country still make your listings available in the other countries but whenever somebody let's say uh, from italy purchases your good on the italian amazon side it will be fulfilled from your german or uk inventory that's the easier part, especially at the start, because um, you got to imagine like once you need a lot of vet services, it gets quite expensive. So you kind of want to make sure you have the cash in your bank. All right. Um, um, that's it, I think. So just let me know what you think about this. And um, looking forward to answer your questions.